Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV Survivor Chat. I'm your host. Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV. I'm your host. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV Survivor Chat. I'm your host, Dan, the Me Too movement. Look it up. We had an, a new season of Survivor, season 39, uh, the the Island of the Idols, and I thought we got off to a pretty good start. My shirt's kind of messed up here. I, th I think I buttoned it wrong. Oh, well, who knows? I'm old and it doesn't matter. But we had a new season, and I got to tell you, I thought they got off to a pretty good start. I was a little hesitant about this whole si Sandra and Boston Rob thing. I didn't really think they were the right choice because they have a unique way of playing the game, and they're very brutally honest and stuff, but... I think that's why they were chosen. They are brutally honest, and I thought it worked pretty well. Um, well let's do a quick recap. We'll just do some quick points here. Uh, Janet gets off to a good start. She's the, one of the older people on the uh, of the group, and she can start fire. Who knew that it, that you probably should not have start fire before you get go play Survivor? Uh, Jason makes the crazy mistake. I don't know why people do this every season. Goes off. Well, it's, it's it's called the it's called the Island of the Idols. I'm gonna go look. There must be tons of idols out here. I'm gonna go look for an idol, and so he separates himself from the group. And right away, someone was smart enough to call him out on it and say, "Hey, where's Jason? Oh, he must be looking for an idol." Which is a I I, I just feel it's a huge mistake. Uh, Dan, I talked about the Me Too movement. I, I just I don't understand why people are still touching people. When you know if the people don't want to be touched, don't touch them. It's it's, it's as simple as that. I'm not here to uh, make pol politics, but I, I just don't get it. Uh, Ronnie might be a little... It might be a little early, Ronnie, to be playing for the final three. I don't know why he was thinking, oh, I can't beat Elaine. She's She's got a personality. She has a story. She's from Kentucky. I can't beat her. I can't beat her. So we need to get her out because I can't beat her in the final for the million dollars. Yeah, I could see somewhere down the line, maybe when you're uh, you know, down to like 10, 11, 12, maybe you can start thinking about that. But maybe that was his downfall. He was overthinking the game. He was thinking too much. And people, that, that does bring a red flag. Wow, if you're already planning and you're plotting, do I want to be playing against someone who's so strategical? And I, I think that might have hurt him. Uh, we had our first glimpse of uh, of what uh, the Island of the Idols was. It's huge statues of, or, of uh, Sandra and Boston Rob. And Elizabeth goes there and... I, at first, I'm like, wait, really? We're gonna this whole thing's about her just making fire. Again, she should already know how to make fire before you get there. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But I did like the twist that she was playing for an idol that she could use for two two tribal councils. I did like that approach. I hope this is I hope this is a sign of the season because part of my complaint the last few seasons has been you know they throw an idol on the ground, someone picks it up. That they're having to earn the idols. That they're just not. You know, hide and go seek. You find one. They're having to earn them. I hope that's what the direction we're going with this. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Uh, <laughs> but I do like that fact. And a lot of people are saying that she made a mistake. She lost her vote. But I, I said, well, if she felt she was safe in the tribe, is one vote going to matter? Because uh, usually these opening, these opening, these opening, uh, the first two or three votes are landslides. It's it's like a huge. It's like seven to one or whatever it was. Like it was today. Ronnie got slammed. So if she felt she was safe, what's the harm in trying? I mean, Boston Rob is a master of making fire, so you probably didn't have a chance. But I didn't think, I saw no harm in her at least going for it. Uh, I thought she had nothing to lose. Um, but I, what I didn't like about it, when she got back, she lied about what she was there for. And I think this is going to put a target on her back. If I'm playing the game and you come back and you don't mention that you were there with Boston Rob and Sandra, I'm like, okay, did you, maybe she got an idol. Maybe that's what she did, and she she got an idol, and I'm I'm I think it's going to put a target. I could be wrong. Maybe people won't be thinking that, but I thought she put a target on her back by not telling the truth. I, I didn't saw no harm with the. All she had to do is say I went there. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, Sandra and Boston Rob are there, and the, what they do is their job is to mentor you and and teach you how to play the game. And mine, I wanted to learn how to make fire, so they taught me how to make fire. And I drew another name from another tribe, and they're coming over. I don't see how she could have possibly, that would hurt her. But she chose the other one, and it's, it's going to come back that they're over there. So we'll see what happens. Um, again, I like Boston Rob and Sandra on there. Um, so we go to Tribal Council. It's going back and forth. And Elaine, who I you know I wasn't sure if I'd like her or not. I love her. I think she's great. She's genuine. She's 
she's fun. She's a fun person to watch. She's good TV. I'm like, great. She's going to be the first one voted off. Really? We're going to lose someone good right away. Uh, but no, they, uh, Ronnie tried to, I think, I think even Ronnie was telling his story about all the jobs he's had and traveling all this. Different. I think he was trying to build a story for himself for the finals, for the final three. I was like, dude, what are you doing here? I think, it was, I think he was already going to go home anyway, but it would just show that he was really trying to play the game too much. At the beginning, you have to kind of go under the radar. And I, I've said this a thousand times, don't put a target on your back. And he, he put a target on his back. And he was voted out, and I'm glad Elaine survived, and we'll find out what happens next week. Um, again, I like the start. Usually it's pretty slow. It's a pretty slow burn, but I I thought they started out pretty quick. You know, Jeff wasn't there. I don't know why he, I don't know why we waited so long for Jeff. Um, that twist, one, one, I, I like to see, I like the whole scrambling and when they're getting off the boats and they're trying to find, you know, what do we get the fruit, we get this, we get that. I enjoy that aspect of the game. I don't know why they had to change it, but it is what it is. And we'll see what happens down the road. On Crazy Hank TV, what we're going to start doing on Thursdays, we're going to have a little, uh, I'll have like a round table of people that will be t- t- uh, talking about the episode of Survivor. So you get the initial reaction from Crazy Hank. And then tomorrow, I'll, we'll record another episode. Where it'll be two or three people. And we'll be talking about the episode and our thoughts and, our, and what who we think is going to win and all that different stuff. So we're going to try something new. So if you're not a subscriber... Click and hit subscribe. If you're a Lost fan, we're doing a Lost rewatch. And it's been a lot of fun, a lot of different guests on the show. I'm doing that. We're also doing Dancing with the Stars and other things going on. So check out Crazy Hank TV. Subscribe today. You'll be glad you did. But again, check out the panel that we'll have. It'll be posted probably sometime tomorrow, 11 Eastern time, because we're doing it late on Thursday night. But uh, thanks for uh, watching. And hit thumbs up. Hit thumbs up. That helps too. And if you don't like it and you want to hit thumbs down, what we're doing, I don't mind. I, I, you know, obviously we want thumbs up. But it, tell us why. Tell us what we did wrong. What you don't like. Maybe you don't like me. I can, I can take it. I'll cry off camera, but I can take it. But anyway, that's all we got. Thanks for listening and watching. Bye, everybody.